Okay, so welcome back. So we're going to continue with this electric guitar body design project, but we've got to finish making the blank first before we can worry about the actual shape of the design. So our next move is we're going to finish off all the holes on the front of the guitar body, and then we will finish up for this session by putting the electronics cavity in the rear. So to begin this, I'm going to use the hole command right there to create some pilot holes for screws to hold in the pickup rings as well as to bolt the neck to the body. So I click in the hole command, I'll click on the center point for each of these holes for the neck. And you can see the preview isn't even close to right. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the, the depth and the diameter to We want eighth inch diameter holes and we want them to run all the way through the body. So here I've changed the diameter to an eighth of an inch. And we can make sure that they're going all the way through to the back. You can see the preview right there. So that's good. So I will click the green check mark to do that. And you can see now that it's completed that in fact the holes do go all the way through. Okay, now I've got holes to create for pilot holes for the pickup screws. And to do that, I will enter the hole command again. And I think this time we're going to make the hole diameter like a sixteenth. 0 0.063, about a sixteenth of an inch. And these don't have to go all the way through. We're going to set a depth for these, but let's get them chosen first. That center point. and set these to blind and the depth for those can be 0.375. So I changed that from through to blind. And when I did, that gave me the option to set how far into it they'll go. When I click the green check mark, you can see the holes are in there and they don't go through the other side. Next, we've got holes for the bridge. So I'll enter the hole command one more time. And choose those 11 holes. And the reality is they can be the same size and depth as the ones for the pickups. Um, and that'll be fine for the purposes of our preview. Now we've got holes here for the controls. This is for the toggle switch. And each of these are for the volume and tone potentiometers. Now, if I was sure exactly what diameter they used, I might use the hole command on those three center points. But because they're actually drawn out as circles, on this, I can go back in and use the extrude function and just click on each of the circles. You can see the preview. If I click on remove material right here, the arrow changes direction and the preview cuts material and goes the other way. As far as a depth, do I need to go one inch? No, I don't need to go one inch. Quarter of an inch or three tenths would be fine. So we'll do three tenths. Okay, and that takes care of all the holes in the front. The next thing we've got to do is we've got to put a sketch in the back to make this electronics cavity because everything was put into one sketch for simplicity's sake that doesn't really serve our purposes for the design of the guitar. So I'm going to make a sketch on the back of the guitar. New sketch. And 
and I want to find the project edges function. And click on all the pieces that make up the outer part. Let's do the inner part instead. And what I want to do is extrude this inner portion and take that to remove material. Now, if this is an inch and three quarters thick, I want to leave somewhere between two tenths and a quarter of an inch thick on the wood for the potentiometer threads. So 1.75 minus, let's say I want 0 0.225. Split the difference between two tenths and a quarter. It takes care of it for me and does that. Now I'm going to go back and make another sketch and project the edges for this outer perimeter. And what that's going to do is it's going to let me make this a little shallow for the thickness of a electronics cover plate that would fit in there. So with that completed, I'll click on the extrude button. And I just want to click this territory right in here. And again, I'm getting a raised preview. That's not what I want. I want this to go remove material. And those beam plates are about an eighth of an inch thick, maybe a pinch less. So by the time you account for sanding, let's make it 130. And so now you can see we've got this shallow recess that the cover plate can fit into. We've got all the holes for both the screws and the electronics components that fit in. And this blank is finished and ready for the next step of creating a custom profile shape. And that will be our next session. So thanks for following along. We'll see you next time.